interesting day. It's not necessarily warm, but could be worse. Fairly windy. And yeah, let's see what we could get into. I guess it will be the first time driving the car with all the new uh, mods to it, including the side mirrors, the carbon spoiler. And yeah, I think that was everything. Or, and the grill too. I don't think I've driven it with the grill. So that should be kind of fun. Loki weird as hell. Like for some reason, during some pools, it'll pop and crackle, but during other pools, it won't. And I'm pretty sure I'm hitting the same amount of uh, RPMs when I'm doing it. So I'm not sure why it's popping and cracking in some pools, but not in other ones. Like, I don't know, this shit's so weird. like 4,000 right there and like there was pretty much nothing like you could hear the car but no backfiring whatsoever so I'm casually passing by the road or going through the road where I was flagged down flagged down in the Lamborghini months ago by the police because I was revving the car because people wanted to hear the car and I was revving it for them and uh, the police turned on their police lights just for me, so, you know, I think we're okay this time, though. And the M5, as you guys could see, and we are about to head out on a little adventure for the weekend. Finally got home and it's actually time to head out again and apparently we're grabbing food since it is about the evening time so let's do that food run likely in the M5 as well. Pretty sure I'll let my dad take the drive on this one but we'll just see and I'll probably record bits and pieces. Those adventures are over and I guess we'll see what else happens. I mean, we spent probably about half the day with the M5. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how long the clips would be, but yeah, we'll just keep the vlog moving and see what else happens. At this point, it's been like 40 days since I basically lost the Lambo and the parts should be arriving in less than a week. So we'll just see uh, if they actually arrive on time. Out here with the cars and we better get some moving because they are coming to work very briefly. All right, we're almost there guys. Onto the final car. Here we are. A couple hours later. And as you guys can see, they are gone. And it should be pretty clean over here. And there you go. Nothing here anymore. So that was the project for the day. Because there was mushrooms growing down here. But yeah. That was the project for the day. They'll be back very soon on another day to continue working. I think the first step will actually be completing this whole drainage system that was not completed. And then I don't believe they're doing anything in here, but as you guys can see, uh, the molding for the ground or the bottom is not done yet. Light fixture there, light fixture here, uh, not completed. So we'll see. And then obviously it'll be cemented over, over here as well. Out here doing my daily early morning routine of moving around the cars. I had an interesting situation, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Uh, I, or I guess I accidentally pressed a button while the 
the remote was in my pocket since I had three keys in my pocket. Alarm ended up going off. Couldn't figure out how to turn it off. I thought pressing the unlock button would do it because that's how it's kind of worked in previous cars. Didn't work. Couldn't figure out which Mustang alarm was going off since I was still inside by the door uh, to head outside. Pressed the other key. Accidentally made the second alarm go off because I was like, you know, if the unlock button is not the one that stops the alarm, I'm, I'm assuming pressing the alarm button will shut it off. Long story short, I pressed the alarm button on the wrong remote. Both alarms started going off. Then I quickly pressed the alarm button on each key fob and the alarm stopped. But it was a very interesting five or 10 seconds that felt like forever. Looks like the Mustang might be leaking considering it literally sitting right here. I did receive an update from the Lamborghini dealer. Long story short, I reached out to them to see how long I would have to wait uh, for the final parts to arrive. They said approximately three weeks, uh, over two weeks ago. So approximately uh, three weeks means pretty much in coming days. Uh, exactly three weeks is about this upcoming Friday. So that would be three days from now but i was like maybe it might come early it might come late and they basically told me that it would probably come early so they're actually anticipating that the parts either come tomorrow which is wednesday or on thursday so they're anticipating it would be early but they're not 100 percent sure uh you know until it actually arrives and then once it does arrive they'll let me know when they could actually start working on it or what the completion date would be so hopefully the car is back in like the next week or so. Current progress of the garage and what was done today. As you guys could see, all types of work done. Fence broken over there. All of that was dug out, put over here concrete pieces those are fence pieces and yeah a lot of progress actually i guess over here we had electrical work done and they moved the light that used to be over there to over there so when the garage door opens obviously it doesn't hit the light and yeah I think there was stuff done to this wall. I think they re removed part of that wall to do electrical. I think this wall is a little changed up, I think up there. But yeah, it's coming together pretty quickly since a lot actually got done today. Woke up and was told that the people working on the garage literally already brought parts and you know materials and whatnot even though it's like super early so we got materials all over the front of the house and i'm quickly moving out the cars that moment where you're moving around cars and you ended up losing one of the keys i have no idea which car the m5 key is in but i think it's in the other mustang i wonder if they're actually starting the cement today but the upside of this getting completed is the fact that we could start uh well for starters we're going to move stuff in the garage but we could start basically taking cars through the garage onto this driveway or pavement so that'll be the upside for when the car comes back meaning the lambo here we are at the end of the day after moving all the cars back let's see what we got here the concrete okay. more concrete over here don't think there's any update inside the garage though Here we are in the backyard after another day's work. All that cement, all that progress. I think most of this, this end actually looks the same, but obviously they did all of this. And yeah, I don't know if anything else is the same. 
they spent the day working so i would have anticipated a little more work done but maybe it's uh more work sort of on the back end of things where you don't really get to see what was done we also have this from the DMV. It's nice to know when I ordered personalized plates, probably like six months ago or something. It was a long time ago, maybe even longer than six months ago, really. Those plates have still not arrived, but I got the damn plates for the M5 that I just purchased just like a few weeks ago. So good going, DMV, good going. <laughs> 